Hey, it's me, Hannah. I am feeling a little sick this week. <coughs> I am also feeling kind of burnt out. I've had a bunch of huge projects recently and I thought this week I could do something a little bit easier. Make a still suit. What? A still suit from Dune, from Dune 2. Why, why would I do that? Galaxy Con, Galaxy Con, it's next week. And Dune 2 just came out. I did just go watch it and it was amazing. But that would be so much work. Well, you can use a pattern. You could hang on. Alice and Tabitha has a pattern and a, a video tutorial to go with it. And there are a couple other patterns and video tutorials online too. It's all gonna make it a lot easier. <sighs> what are you afraid of? Fear is the mind killer. You're not gonna let this go, are you? Absolutely not. Okay, fine. Patterns will be linked below. After buying this pattern, I basically just followed the video tutorial as best I could. If you're also looking to build a cosplay still suit, you should definitely check that video out first, but I'm hoping to share a bit more about how I'm doing the construction. Without repeating too much of what Allison explains in her video, I'm just trying to share my journey. It's probably worth noting that I am using a hot glue that is specifically for EVA foam versus just your typical craft store hot glue. It definitely has kind of a funny smell. I don't actually know if the fumes are toxic, so hop in the comments if I should worry about my health. So I've already mentioned I'm sick. In my Dayquil fueled haze, I realized that I didn't actually like connect some of these pattern pieces. Like they were supposed to be attached before I cut them out. That, um, that was just silly. So I think I'm gonna have to cut out a few extra pieces if I have enough foam. And if I don't have enough foam, I'm just gonna kind of try to fit the pieces together and we'll go from there. <sighs> All right, um, I'm kind of at a point where I've gotten a bunch of gluing done, but it is kind of a crummy, dreary day outside. So I can't go out and do my coat of Plasti Dip, um, multiple coats of Plasti Dip, 
or any paint or anything like that. So I am hitting up the Goodwill <laughs> um, and I'm gonna see if I can find some similar apparel items to what Allison Tabitha used in her cosplay. I am looking for grays, browns, tans, anything that feels deserty and duny. We'll see what we can come up with. Let's get in there. Okay, I've got the good. The number one thing that I was anxious about trying to find was a ribbed fabric material. Um, and I was able to score this sweater, which is all of it is ribbed. I think this is gonna be perfect for some of the smaller details. The waist armor specifically, there are a few spots where I think this is gonna do really well. So I am going to tear that up shortly. I also got this top, bam. I'm in the middle of something. Thank, thank you, no, no. I also found this turtleneck, which I think will make for a perfectly adequate base layer up top. I'm really excited about these pants that I got. Uh, just the like, way that they're colored, like it already kind of looks super worn. And they're kind of, they kind of look like riding pants, like horseback riding pants. And the seam is already kind of giving chaps, which, brings us to our next point. I got uh, these pants as well, which I'm just gonna kind of cut into chaps. That was easy. That was easy. That'll, that'll be pretty quick. And then I also got a pair of these boots, which were just comfortable. Could definitely be worn all day at, at a con. Certainly good enough for what I need them for. And then I, I couldn't find a good like flowy fabric for the cape, so I ran to my local fabric store and picked up this gauze material that's kind of sheer, definitely kind of flowy. All of these pieces I intend to weather and sort of paint slash dye to be a little bit more cohesive and look a little bit more like the dune still suits. And yeah, just like look like they spent a lot of time in the desert. So successful thrift haul. I am now going to get back to finishing up gluing the rest of the foam pieces together and then tomorrow weather permitting i can plasti dip and then get into painting and weathering i'm feeling pretty good about my progress so far and pretty confident about where we're going so let's get back into it had a lot of fun adding extra details to this piece like adding the extra pieces of foam to get that little bit of depth 
and then also adding the extra ridges along some of the pieces. It also helps kind of clean up some of my cuts, which weren't flawless, but who is? In hindsight, I wish I had spent maybe a little bit of extra time adding just additional ridges like these. Alternatively, I could have come back with a pen or a, you know, my razor blade and made essentially faux ridges to, again, just get some extra lines in there, extra depth, make it feel a little bit more real. In hindsight, I wish I had followed Alice and Tabitha's lead on adding fabric to that first layer of the mask here before adding the additional foam. I remembered <laughs> to add fabric when I got to kind of the side pieces of the mask, and I probably could have saved myself some time on smoothing out that front seam, which you'll see in a second, but all in all, I'm still pretty happy with how it ended up looking. I also forgot to add any piping detail before gluing down that top layer on the mask. So I came back through with the fabric I had thrifted from that sweater and just glued some in. Um, overall, again, I'm not upset with how it looked in the end, but if I were to do this again, that's just an area where I'd probably wanna make sure I do it right the first time. The pattern leaves some room for freehand, kind of figure it out yourself pieces, including this piping detail that goes on the thighs. I ended up cutting just a random fabric shape out and then gluing some of these EVA foam dowels, which I had cut in half, to the fabric. Then it came time to start plasti dipping. So I took everything outside and used spray paint on this weirdly cloudy, windy day. So not ideal, but we made it work. I wish I had plasti dipped both sides of each of these pieces. I just think it would have helped with the cohesion of all of it. Today, I am dying some clothes for my cosplay. Basically, what I'm trying to do is take this gray piece and add a little more brown to it and take these brown pieces and add a little more gray to them to somehow try to meet in the middle somewhere. I am not attempting to be scientific about this at all. I know that I'm just gonna come through with some watered down paint and do some further weathering kind of across the board. So I'm just gonna see what I can do with the dye that I already had to, yeah, kind of get us to like a little bit more of a cohesive look here. So let's see what we can do. You want to see me do it again?
ended up not changing the size of the pattern in any way. So to accommodate the difference in the sizes of my waist versus Alice and Tabitha's, I added a corset back to that waist piece where I think she had originally used Velcro. Compared to previous armor builds, I felt a lot more secure in the elastic that I glued to the EVA foam. And that has a lot to do with using this scrap piece of EVA foam to kind of enclose and further secure each of the elastic pieces. It might also have to do with how successful I have been using the EVA foam specific hot glue, but using both methods really helped me feel, yeah, a lot more secure. Attaching the waist to the breastplate, I ended up not liking the top seam right in the middle where the two pieces met. So I took the pattern piece from that portion of the waist and used that to guide me as I just cut out another piece of foam and layered it on top, covering up that seam there. I think it worked out pretty good. I also had to freehand the boot covers, so I just cut out a couple random shapes in the foam, covered them in fabric, and voila! I'm not going to get anything done today at this rate. With the help of my esteemed associates, I will be wrapping up all of the necessary paint job I need to do here. The dyeing I did of the fabric pieces did do a lot of heavy lifting in terms of bringing the colors closer together. They're definitely not the same. Not that I want them to be the same, but like 
these pants are decidedly browner than these chaps. And um, again, I don't necessarily want them to be the same, but I do want it to be cohesive. I want it to feel like they were worn in the desert for like the same amount of time. Like they received the same amount of distress. I'm gonna be using um, watered down acrylic paint uh, that I just picked up from the craft store. This is my Friday night. I need to get this done as soon as possible so it is time to dry overnight so that I can wear it to the con tomorrow. <laughs> I do have a few more things that I need to glue into place or attach uh, on the upper body, but I figured I would start the process of painting everything from the waist section down. Even if we stopped right here, like I would be pretty happy with how this project turned out. So um, the fact that I have this extra day to get some extra detail added through, through the painting process, a um, little extra gluing here and there, I'm already stoked. This is just the cherry on top. Let's get to painting. Okay, so the last step I'm going to do to add to the weathering detail that I've done is to hit it with this sort of uh, multicolored textured spray paint. It's very sandy. So I'm gonna see if I can use this to give it a little bit of a, a sandy dusting, if you will. It's gonna be very like light. I'm gonna spray from pretty far away um, and just see if, that works. Um, yeah, so that worked like perfectly. It's got just enough like texture there to be sand literally just sand like blown and kind of caught in this suit oh it's perfect i'm so excited i feel actually pretty smart with this one yes now i just got to do that for everybody else and then i think that's my last step so i will see you at GalaxyCon. Frustratingly, I realized that my blue contact lenses had ripped when I went to go put them in, and I forgot to bring my cape slash scarf thing when I met up with my friend and absolute cosplay fiend, Cell or Copper Cosmonaut here on YouTube. But we still made the trek out to a big flat rock in the middle of the river to take some pictures before heading to the con. And I'm genuinely happy with how the whole thing held up through this adventure and the rest of the day. 
as my second fan convention ever, GalaxyCon was such a great experience, and we got a lot of Lisan Al Gaib shouts from passing con goers. It was such a fun day, and I had such a fun time making this cosplay. And if you had as much fun as I did, it would mean the world to me if you would like and subscribe. And if you do, I will see you in two weeks for my next video. Take care. We did it! We did it! We're done!